Mentioning the word home evokes a sense of comfort and modesty. While some people love big houses and the enormous space it brings, for some people, it's not the size that matters as much as the soothe and security we feel within this place we call home. Many people have to rethink buying a property and struggle with mortgage payments and the like, but for the world's richest, expensive properties are nothing significant compared to their vast sea of wealth. These guys can purchase some of the most extravagant, lavish homes outright without a second thought on the matter. These people have redefined the word home, and now it's more than just modesty and utility to them, but a form of expression of extravagance and vanity, where they can spend most of their fortune, afford unimaginable luxuries, and flaunt their wealth. Here are the incredible homes of the richest billionaires. Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos founded e-commerce giant Amazon in 1994 out of his garage in Seattle. He stepped down as CEO to become executive chairman in 2021. He has amassed a massive real estate portfolio across the U.S., from his home state of Washington to New York City. According to the Land Report, Bezos is the 28th largest landowner in the United States. He owns over five homes across the USA, from two neighboring Beverly Hills mansions to a sprawling estate in an exclusive Seattle suburb. Here are all the residents properties Bezos is known to own in the U.S. I wonder what it's like owning so many houses. Bezos' two homes in Medina span 5.3 acres. One home is a 20,600 square foot, five bedroom, four bathroom house, and the other is an 8,300 square foot, five bedroom, four bathroom home, rumored to have cost $53 million. Bezos also owns properties in Beverly Hills, California, one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Los Angeles. The first Beverly Hills house did not fit Bezos' space requirements. In 2017, he bought a comparatively modest four-bedroom, 4,568-square-foot home for $12.9 million right next door to his first house. His most recent Beverly Hills purchase is the Warner Estate. Bezos bought the nine-acre property for a whopping $165 million, making it the most expensive home ever sold in Los Angeles. The Warner Estate was designed for Jack Warner, the former president of Warner Brothers Studios in the 1930s. Bezos reportedly bought the home from billionaire David David Geffen, who bought it back in 1990. Bezos owns the largest house in Washington, D.C. He bought the house at the former Textile Museum for $23 million. He is neighbors with the Obamas, Ivanka Trump, and Jared Kushner. Before Bezos' divorce was finalized, these properties also belonged to his wife, Mackenzie Bezos, as everything acquired throughout the marriage is considered joint property in Bezos' home state of Washington. It's unknown how Bezos' properties were divided after his divorce from Mackenzie Bezos was finalized in July 29. Elon Musk as one of the world's richest men, Elon Musk can easily afford to drop hundreds of millions of dollars on any lavish home he wants. After selling off most of his real estate assets and moving to Texas in the past year, Tesla co-founder and CEO Elon Musk revealed in early June that he now only owns one house and that his primary residence is a $50,000 tiny box house that he says he rents from his rocket company, SpaceX. The tiny house comes with some cool amenities, like a full-size kitchen that hosts a large fridge, double sink with a view, oven, dishwasher, microwave, and shaker cabinetry. The bathroom with deep shower tub, vessel sink, large counter, backlit mirror, and sliding glass barn door, a 375-square-foot living room with huge doors and windows, wide plank composite flooring, built-in ironing center, washer, dryer, heating and air, and promises ultra-low utility bills. He is currently worth $187 billion and is no stranger to millions of dollars in real estate. Musk had a combined $72 million worth of homes around the Los Angeles area. He tweeted in May 2020 that he would own no house, and true to his word, Elon Musk is well on his way to owning no house. Musk has now made nearly good on his promise to do so, selling six of his seven properties. In December 2020, Musk sold four Bel Air properties for a combined $61.89 million. He originally spent nearly $55 million on those properties, purchasing them between 2015 and 2019. Overall, Musk has made an estimated profit of $19.2 million on his home sales over the past year year. The only house I own is the events house in the Bay Area. If I sold it, the house would see less use and less bought by a big family, which might happen someday, Musk said. A few days later, he confirmed he had put it up for sale. Decided to sell my last remaining house. Just needs to go to a large family who will live there. It's a special place. It remains unclear whether Musk is renting any other houses, though. Bill Gates 
Bill Gates is no longer a CEO, but his time as founder and CEO at Microsoft has made him one of the most recognizable individuals and richest people in the world. His house is no different from many of the homes highlighted in this video. The mansion named Xanadu 2.0 is a stately pleasure dome indeed. The sprawling 66,000 square foot complex sits on Lake Washington in the Seattle area, in the same pampered neighborhood as the home of Jeff Bezos, making it home to some of the wealthiest people on the planet. It took Bill Gates seven years and $63 million to construct the masterpiece. In 1988, Bill purchased the lot for $2 million, but its estimated worth now is more than $130 million since the house's construction. The home has eight bedrooms but can serve as a gathering place for the masses. Each room has touchpad controlled lighting, music, and climate controls. The mansion has 25 bathrooms, six kitchens, and a dining room that can accommodate up to 200 people. Imagine getting lost inside this house. The amazing home is just one of three of Bill's most notable properties. He also owns a massive ranch in Southern California that he bought from fitness icon Jenny Craig. This home sits on 228 acres and was bought for about $18 million. This lot includes a racetrack, a guest house, office, veterinary suite, orchard, and five bars. Gates also owns another horse farm in Wellington, Florida, which he purchased for $8.7 million in 2013. His daughter Jennifer is an avid equestrian, and they had previously rented the house when in Florida for her competitions. Mark Zuckerberg the 37-year-old Facebook founder plans to work remotely for up to half of 2022, and his $320 million real estate portfolio is more than able to accommodate his work-from-home lifestyle. Zuckerberg has 10 properties across four locations, Palo Alto, San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, and Kauai Island in Hawaii. Mark and his wife Priscilla with their children live in a $7 million home in Palo Alto. The primary home is a 5,617-square-foot, 5 5-bedroom, five 5-bathroom five wood-floored home on zero 0.41 acres, which he purchased for $7 million in 2011, the year before he got married. The house was built way back in 1903, and at first glance you might think Zuckerberg is living modestly and not spending all of his billions like other billionaires, but that is not the case. The home's luxury shtick is that of Marvel Comics-like AI that controls the whole property. Zuckerberg retrofitted the home with custom-made artificial intelligent assistant with the voice of Morgan Freeman, and a Facebook cannon which launches gray t-shirts. He has a knack for also buying surrounding properties to ensure his privacy. <laughs> Did I just say privacy? The owner of Facebook? Yes, you heard me right, privacy. He bought four homes worth $30 million surrounding his main Palo Alto residence. He bought an off-market property in 2013, which he paid over $10 million. The property located in Dolores Heights is spread over an area of 5,542 square feet. He later invested another $1.6 million to renovate the home, to which he added an office, a media room, a half bathroom, a laundry room, a wine room and a wet bar. Zuckerberg loves Hawaii. He can't stop buying up land there. He currently owns 1,400 acres of land there. He also added a new roof along with all new landscaping, but the big ticket real estate item for the Facebook boss is the two land parcels in Kauai that he purchased for a whopping $100 million. He plans to set up 700 acres of property for extravagant family getaways. These land parcels have a 2,500 square foot spread of ocean view and an operational organic farm. The plans are to construct a two-bedroom residence along with a 16-bay garage complex. Warren Buffett Known as the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors of all time. He has a whole lot of money by having a knack for getting the most out of his investments. He is so adapted to this process and his home is no exception to this skill. In 1958, Buffett bought his home located in a quiet neighborhood in Omaha for $31,500 and he still lives there today. Now the property is valued at around $800,000. And in keeping with his reputation of modesty, the home isn't even one of the more expensive homes on the block. He says he's happy there and would move if he thought he'd be happier someplace else. It's 6,570 square feet and has five bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. He calls it the third best investment he's ever made. Buffett is currently selling a home in Laguna Beach for $11 million, but don't worry, he didn't break the bank on that either. In 1971, he bought the house for just $150,000 despite all of his assets, while Pricey is still quite modestly sized for a billionaire's getaway. Despite all of his assets, Buffett chooses to live modestly. Larry Ellison 
Larry Ellison, chairman, chief technology officer, and co-founder of software giant Oracle, is another familiar billionaire that could not be left out. He's dubbed the nation's most avid trophy home buyer by the Wall Street Journal. Ellison has steadily plowed his riches into real estate, amassing a portfolio well above $1 billion. His holdings include multiple homes in Silicon Valley and Lake Tahoe, as well as 98% of the Hawaiian island of Lanai, which he bought from Dole Food chairman David Murdoch in 2012 for $300 million. His home in Woodside, California is inspired by Japanese imperial design. This estate sits on 23 acres and features an 8,000 square foot home. Ellison reportedly sunk $200 million to upgrade the property, perhaps to advance his vision of creating a network of ultra-luxury home museums around the world. It feels like you're living in a paradise in this home. The Woodside property includes 10 buildings, a lake, a tea house, and a koi pond. Along with his passion for Japan and the real estate he's acquired worldwide, he also owns around two dozen dozen properties in Malibu worth millions. At least 10 of these properties are on the famed Carbon Beach. Ellison also owns much more in Cali, including a racket club he acquired for just under $7 million. Mukesh Ambani if you think you've seen it all with the previous houses, wait till you see this billionaire house, which outbids other houses on this list. Ambani is the CEO of Reliance Industries, a Fortune Global 500 company and India's most valuable company by market value. Ambani is the richest man in India and is of now the 12th richest in the world. He currently holds the title of owning the most expensive private home in existence. His home, which is named Antilia, is located in Mumbai, India and is a 27-floor skyscraper valued at over $1 billion. The mansion sits on 400,000 square feet. Antilia, which was named for a phantom island in the Atlantic, features a multi-story garage with space for 168 cars, a ballroom, four helipads, gardens, a temple, guest suites, a health level, and a home theater that seats 50. The mansion requires a reported 600 staff to maintain. Ambani moved into this mansion with his wife and three children in 2012. Oprah Winfrey Oprah Winfrey is known for being the most successful talk show host of all time. Oprah lives an incredibly lavish lifestyle. Oprah Winfrey has seven houses. The first house in Montecito. Winfrey purchased this 23,000 square foot home for a whopping $50 million back in 2001. It's located about six miles from downtown Santa Barbara. After changing the decor to meet her exquisite taste, Winfrey knows the home is downright gorgeous inside and out. The massive home also features a large pond with a fountain in the backyard. Her second home is on Orcas Island. Winfrey's latest purchase is a 41-acre estate located on Orcas Island in the northwestern corner of Washington State. She purchased the eight-bedroom, six-and-a-quarter bathroom, 7,303 square foot estate that sits on the property for a cool $8.275 million. She even has 3,000 feet of private shoreline, according to Velvet Rope. In 2016, Oprah purchased a 23-acre horse farm, Seamare Farm Estate, for nearly $29 million at auction. The 21st Century Farmhouse has a wraparound porch with ocean views, a country-style chef's kitchen, a terrace off the master bedroom, and dining space that can accommodate six. For years since she became one of the first female billionaires, Oprah has been racking up an incredible collection of multi-million dollar real estate. Steve Jobs the late Apple CEO. Steve Jobs was another modest billionaire. The billionaire technological trailblazer of Apple lived in Palo Alto in a 1930s beautiful but modest mansion built in rustic style. The mansion sat on half an acre and was 5,768 square feet. It included seven bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. The home was very much a British country style, fitting beautifully with the rest of this quiet neighborhood and certainly didn't stand out as the lavish residence of a high-tech mogul. Which of these houses do you love? How much can you you spend on the home of your dreams? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like.